Hi everyone, I am still Richard Lewis. I'm still a DreamHack Winter 2013. And I am here in the uh, Twitch TV Players Lounge doing some wonderful interviews with people. And uh, in the previous one, I had someone who had crashed out of the tournament in the form of Apex. Now I've got someone who is very much still in the tournament. It is, of course, Maniac from Team Recursive. Uh, things are going very well for you at the moment. Uh, you must be ecstatic. Yeah, yeah, we are feeling so good, and it, it was, first of all, it was like a surprise because, mm. we, as I told you before, we were really underdogs here. Yeah. People didn't think we could play at this level, and we didn't think we could reach this level of, of playing. And we we came back from a big deficit in our last match, so the the emotions were higher. Well, let's talk about the build-up before the tournament. First of all, I want to ask you about the whole collapse of the LDLC situation. Mm -hmm. I think when people looked at that team on paper and saw the LDLC name associated with it, they were like, this is a team that can go far. Yeah. LDLC famously have always backed very successful yeah. French teams. So what went wrong? Uh, well, it, it all started with DreamHack Summer, where we had a really convincing result, finishing top three, four. We just, we almost went to the final, and it was a big upset. We were like, we were underdogs by ta by then. Yeah. And then we came to the EMS uh, Red Call finals, mm -hmm. and our statue was not the same. Yeah. We, we were we were favorites, you know. So people waited uh, for us. They had anti tactics for us, and we were not ready to to play this role, you know. Mm. So we got crushed out, and our motivation went really down, yeah. and there were some trouble in the relationships of some players. Yeah. And for me, it was really um, not boring, but I was exhausted because I was always like, okay, guys, come on, let's chill out, let's work. I was like, you know, a, a father, I can yeah. say like this. And it was really exhausting, uh, exhausting, yeah. So in the end, I was just like, okay, I have no energy left. Mm. I'm out of this. And you know, uh, when I was playing LDLC, uh, I had a break in my, um, uh, at the university. Oh yeah. I had one year break, so I had full time. Oh, nice, nice. And on September, I just began a master program, a postgraduate, um, and I didn't know if I would have the time to play competitively. So I said, okay guys, there's too much for me. I'm just going to back out, yeah. going to play with some friends and stuff. I know that I, I am studying at the moment. I see that I still have time. Yeah. So that's, that's when I contacted uh, Kenny and Happy, which I already played with. And I told them, okay guys, I am free. If you want to play mm. with me again. And they were thinking, of course, we're going to play together again. That's why I came to We Got Game. Then we changed to recursive. But you talked about those internal problems, and I, you know I got to ask about it. There was a situation with Kenny S where yeah. he was in the team and then he was out the team, and now he's back. So, what happened then? Because this is a player historically, mm. you know, if you look at the very yeah. game situation, there was a lot of friction there as well. So, from your point of view, what happened? The problem of Kenny S is just his age, I can say, because yeah. he's you know he's a star player. He oh, has a, he has such amazing. a talent. Mm. He's one of the more talented play, most talented player on the scene. But sometimes when the motivation is not here or when he does not get his frag or he's getting crushed, he just acts a little bit like a child, if I can mm. say. And that's really hard for a professional team to handle because yeah. as a professional team, you have to be on top even when you are not hitting your frags, even when you are in a bad day. You know, it's like, it's like work. It, when you're working, you cannot go to work and say, okay, guys, I'm not motivated. <laughs> I'm not doing anything tonight. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's a professional point of view. And I think that's why Very Games could not work it with him anymore. And that's also one of the problems we had by uh, LDLC. But now I must say he changed. He's, it's not like he's miles away from, but he, he improved himself mm. as a person. He grew, uh, if I can say. Yeah. I mean, uh, so when, when you made the decision to bring him back, was it, was it because you had this tournament in mind? I mean, mm. because look, let's be honest, there's so much money yeah. going on here. Was it a case of like, you know what, he may act you know like a child sometimes but he's too good a player to not bring mm. for a hundred thousand no, dollars of course you're right but the thing is i didn't have to, to take him back because he was already there in the project when yeah. i came back yeah. so that was happy we, take, we took the decision to play mm. with him again so he might be the guy to ask this question yeah. because when i just came back in the project he was there and i just i just felt like okay let's give him a, a second change a second chance maybe he changed so that's why I, I jumped it in the in the project. But I happy should be the guy answering this question, yeah. actually. Well, well, we'll see if he responds. <laughs> uh, but let's talk as well about the build-up. I mean, you guys, you didn't even have an organization until like, what, four days ago, was it? Yeah. Or something like that. So t uh, that must have been a nightmare for you guys because it was. you had this great team. You won the face-it uh, qualifier to, to be here. 
and then bam you're still faced with the prospect of not being able to attend yeah. uh, because the team didn't pick you up so talk about that and then how recursive came in to sort of rescue you well the thing is uh, before face it cup actually uh, we got game our uh, former organization we were we were okay we were agreeing on going to uh, dream Mac, uh, bring your own com uh, computer you know uh, qualifier mm. because we did we, we did not think we would get an inv invitation yeah so we thought okay we're just gonna go there and play the qualification and get to the tournament and one week before DreamHack, our organization told us, okay, guys, sorry, we have no, no money for this. We, mm. we can't support you. And we all thought, okay, it's down. We, we yeah. won't go to DreamHack. And then there, there was the Face It qualifier with all the drama. I don't know if you heard about it, but there was a lot of drama about the demo. And it's, it's not interesting stuff, but <laughs> suddenly we just qualified. And we were like, okay, maybe now we're going to find someone who wants to send us because we are already in the tournament. So that's a nice show for any organization, you know? Mm. And that's when we made this communique on uh, HLTV and all the website look like, yeah, we need an organization to go to DreamHack. And they came to us and they were nice guys. They seemed professional. So we just thought, okay, we have, we have no time to, to think, about it, think about it too much. Mm -hmm. Let's just go with recursive and see what happens. So, I mean, you get picked up. Uh, it's all a bit of a sudden. It's all a bit of a shock. Did you guys, at the point where you didn't think you were going to be a dream act, did you just stop playing? No. Or did you keep playing? Did you keep practicing and keep yeah. believing? Uh, we, were, we were all agreeing on the fact that uh, with or without dream act, we would stay together as a team okay. because we all knew we had a nice potential and our working attitude is, I think, correct and yeah. nice. So even if we wouldn't have, wouldn't have come here, we would have stayed together. So, yeah. First game here wasn't easy uh, you only get nip ninjas in pajamas yeah. so for those who don't follow csgo these are the big kids on the block they've won pretty much everything up until recently where they've had a bit of a wobble um you did incredibly well i mean like to have to play them in your first game with everything you guys have been through 13 rounds is hugely impressive when you lose 16 13 against a team like nip are you disappointed or pleased i think they were both feelings because we knew we had an horrible start at the beginning, we were down 11-0. Mm. And in the first round, we had a lot of clutches, you know, two on two, three yeah. on three, which we lost. And we had that feeling that we could have done better as T. So, okay, our city side was really great. We had a nice comeback. That mm. was nice for us. But we were thinking like, oh, what if we had begun yeah. in, a, in a better way? Mm. So, yeah, mixed feelings, I, wish, I would say. Um, and then, next game, uh, it was against the Americans' I buy power. Mm -hmm. You crush them, no problem there. Yeah. I mean, were you, were you expecting them to be a bit more competitive? Because, again, we, we talked about this as we were walking over for the interview. Americans online are a very different prospect, mm -hmm. you know, and, and they do well against European teams. So, yeah. Well, we started as T on Inferno because they had the choice of the, the side. And I don't know how, but our tactics were just flawless going. Mm -hmm. We went 10-5. Uh, we lost some stupid rounds, but we just realized that we had all the cards to, to yeah. beat them. Our strategy were going, um, we, were, we had nice redirection in the game, we were playing our clutches nicely. And yeah, I just expected them to be tougher opponents, mm. I must say. And then as CT, we had the confidence that we knew, like just after this, that nip match, mm. we knew that our CT side was really strong. So when we, when we switched at 10-5, we, we were really confident that we could go through. Uh, and then, of course, the game that we've just come from, Universal Soldiers. I mean, the, the Polish legends, yep. uh, some of the greatest players to ever grace the game, three-time World Cyber Game gold medalists here. Um, and you guys came back from, what was it, were you 12-3 down? Yeah. I mean, what is going through your head at that point? You're 12-3 down against these players of incredible pedigree. How do you get back into that game? How do you find the strength to do that? It was really difficult because, you know, in the first time, we, we, had, we had that feeling that everyone knows where you just realize you're playing bad. Mm. It, it's obvious. On the, on the communication, people are getting angry and we are doing stupid mistakes. We, we lose rounds that we should never lose. Yep. And if we had lost, I would have felt so bad. You know, regret, yeah. regretful, really. So we switch CT, we are not really that confident, I must say, but we know we can do it. Mm. And then there is this pistol round where I just get uh, five kills, <laughs> unexpected uh, gun round, and we all just got hyped yeah. from that, uh, that action, that one action. And after that, it was just round by round, round by round. And you know, when you are in that situation and when you're down 12 to three or 12 to four, each round builds up a yeah. motivation and trust. And each round you get, the more rounds you get, the stronger you feel. 
and you can see that that light at the end of the tunnel so if i can yeah. say you, yeah. you, see, you you start feeling okay maybe we can do this yeah. and the more rounds the more these feelings goes and then when we were like 13 13 we lost a round 14 13 and it was like i don't know how to say it was really hard to feel we, we were like no we, we can't miss that game now now we can buy and then one of uh, Yuzi, um he played an um, awesome action on b side he won a nice situation back to 14 14 or it was it well maybe one round uh, uh yeah i think it was 14 13 yeah, yeah it was yeah. runabout and then we were like okay we are not letting this game away it's it's, it's sure we're gonna win yeah. and in the end i was I, I must say i cried at the end of the game yeah. i cried because it was so emotional yeah and i played one of my best game in my career most likely and you know coming back from this oh yeah I, even now, I feel emotional about this. Yeah, I'm getting fucking pumped listening yeah, to yeah, it. <laughs> Makes me wish I could play. <laughs> like, um, well, look, I'm, you're going to need that emotion, man, because yeah. coming up next, Fnatic, mm -hmm. we all know how good they are at the moment, right? Yeah. I mean, they're one of the outside favorites, I'd say, for the tournament. But I mean, like you say, you must believe you can do anything after coming back against US, right? Of course. And uh, um, last edition of DreamHack, DreamHack Summer, I was there with LDLC. We lost to them 2-1 two, yeah, two yeah. uh, with an overtime. So we all know we can beat them. But of course, they are a great team. They have great individuals and really performing sniper. I must say Jasper was one of the best sniper out there. But now that we did this against US, I mean, everything seems possible for us. So of course we will have to play our A game. Mm -hmm. We will have to play incredibly well if we want to go through. But we all know we can do this now. And uh, just to emphasize a little bit as well, you're now in the money, right? I mean, you're guaranteed what? Is it 10K? 10K is it, yeah. Right? So, I mean, it's been worth it as a trip. <laughs> of uh, course. Are, are Recursive going to keep you on board now? I mean, are Recursive going to get a percentage? Are you guys going to keep all the money? Like, How is that going to work? Um, I think they're going to keep a percentage. That's, yeah. that's how it was organized. But if the land goes like this I think we're gonna stay together because yeah. the the relationship is just really great they trust us they, they do whatever we ask I mean it's not like star like but they are doing what they can so that we feel good so I see no reason not working with them anymore if if you were out the tournament I would ask you who's gonna win it I can't ask you who's gonna yeah. win it because you're in it and you've got to say you yeah. but uh, so I'll rephrase the question can you win the whole thing can you win the big prize let's say we have a uh, 25% against 75% because I can't say we won't win because I know we have a chance yeah. but we should play terribly good. We have to be all so focused and do some individual in, uh, individual actions. So yeah, it is possible. It's a l really long way to go. And if we are out, I think um, very games are my favorite. I mean, they are still in a nice situation now and uh, they have such a nice lineup, mm. such individuals and some I would say the energy in the team is really nice. So if we are not the favorite, then they are the favorite, I think. Okay. Uh, and just a final couple of questions. I saw you as you were walking over here. You love DreamHack, man. Like, <laughs> I, I can see it in of your course. eyes. Like, <laughs> so I mean, are you are you like psyched to be here? Is it like important for you as a player and and for the CS:GO scene? I mean, are you really feeling the the DreamHack love at the moment? Yeah, you know, for me, th this kind those kinds of events. That's the only reason why I'm still in the game. Yeah. Because I told you I'm studying right now, I have a girlfriend, I'm, I'm living with my girlfriend, so it takes me a lot of time. Mm. Sometimes you can think, oh my goodness, I'm <laughs> too stressed, I have too, so, so much things to do. But that kind of tournament, that's the main reason. That's why we play Counter-Strike, that's why everybody play uh, video games. Or what. It's, the, it's the best, it's just <laughs> the best you can have, and I'm so excited. Uh, my, my, my summer trip here was awesome, yeah. really, I, me I met beautiful people I had so much fun excitement also nightlife and stuff yeah. it's beautiful I, I wish everyone could feel what I feel now it's just I, I'm in heaven right now I Mate, must say I tell you what right and I'm, I'm pumped for you man I'm so <laughs> psyched I gotta say it it's so great to see you uh, absolutely jacked up to the max that is a beautiful man who has now got to go and play Fnatic so I hope Everybody out there is going to be psychically transmitting good vibes for him and his team, Recursive Gaming. But to everyone else out there, do stay tuned. We are going to have more interviews like this one from here at DreamHack Winter 2013. Thanks very much. Thank you.